And now, from their dressing room backstage in Michigan, here's Billy Ray Cyrus and Sly Dog. Well, I guess it's, uh, you know, to sit here and reflect and, and, and you try to figure out how do you say, what does Mike Murphy mean to me? And, uh, you know, for me, I guess one of my, one of the greatest memories I have restored in my old brain here is one time we went up to Ritter Park. It was in the early 80s, and uh, Mike Murphy and his band uh, tore into Sharp Dressed Man, and it was just like seeing ZZ Top, man, only for, like, less money, man. Was, he just covered the song and blew us away, and me and my friends were just sitting there just thinking, man, that's that's Mike Murphy, man, Appalachian Lady, uh, Broken Man, uh, Old Cheap Wine, you know, and uh, never, ever thought I'd fall in love with you. I mean, you know, for me to reflect on... What does Mike Murphy mean to me? That's just a real uh, hard uh, question to answer. And uh, I'm going to think about it here for a second. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pass the phone around to the dogs and the member of the crew here. You know, everybody in this organization just about from the tri-state area there. So I'm going to pass around the phone, let each man state who they are and where they're from, and what does Mike Murphy mean to, mean to them. First one here is going to be a fellow Ashland Kentuckian. This is uh, Michael Jose Graves. Okay, hey, this is Michael Jose Graves uh, from Ashland, Kentucky. Mike Murphy, Appalachian Lady, the first I knew of him. Uh, my buddy Kevin Elkins and I used to go up to uh, Maletti's up in Huntington and watch him every weekend. He would sing exactly like, uh, the, well, I remember him doing stick songs, Kansas songs. He'd sing them just like it. He'd play his guitar just like it. He was an awesome talent, uh, heavily influenced me, and I'm sure all the other guys in our band, so... uh Here's to you, Mike Murphy. We love you, buddy. Uh, yes, this is Bart Stevens. I uh, live in Huntington, West Virginia. And He's been, from Carter County. Uh, from Carter County originally. I, I'd like to... Uh, being a family man, I can understand the loss of the musical community and would like to ex express my deepest condolences to his friends and family. This is John Griffith uh, from Ashland, Kentucky. Uh, I remember going out to see Mike Murphy out at the Westwood Boys Club about at least a million years ago. Uh, he were you there, Cork? Cork was there. And he was playing. Uh, I remember during the break, uh, Doobie Brothers, China Grove was playing, and Murph walks up and is looking off into nowhere and playing the solo note for note along with the record, and just playing around. And that's the kind of talent the guy had. He would, you know, he. Without even trying, it, music just poured out of him, and we're sure going to miss him. And uh, I hope his family is going to be able to get along and carry on without him. Hello, it's Roger Gordel. Uh, the, the times that I got to work with Mike were they were, they were good times, and uh, there's too many people that aren't. Too many people just don't realize what went away. As is Corky, you all know where I'm from. I need to tell you a little story about me and Mike when we first got started. Uh, we thought we were big time. We got us a 1961 international school bus that we converted into a big tour bus. And we were so proud of this thing, and it sit around. And one day, these two boys, young boys on bicycles, come riding clear from Flatwoods, Kentucky, to see this big bus. So we took these two kids... We took these two kids on a tour through our bus, and this one boy was real excited. Kept saying, I'm going to have one like it someday. As he laughed, we said, Bobby Larry, see you later. <laughs> That's great, ain't it? Hi, folks. This is Terry. Well, I guess I was the new kid on the block because I didn't move to the tri-state area and start playing, I guess, till me and Billy Ray started in the fall of 86, wasn't it? 87, 86, yes, about September of 86, and I moved down, and, uh, you know, I had the pleasure of listening to Mike Murphy play, and I think of what I can really say to mostly tribute Mike Murphy is the fact that he was such an awesome guitar player and songwriter and, and musician, and he very much sincerely respected me as a, as a musician just the same. And uh, I think that's what I'll cherish the most about his memory, uh, besides all the great licks that I stole off of him. So, always remember him. Hey, Don Bontres. Don Hey, this is Don Bontres. Uh, I, I never had the pleasure of meet, uh, meeting uh, Mike uh, Murphy, but uh, 
just by seeing the way he's impacted all these guys that I think a lot of in Billy Ray Cyrus's uh, outfit here. I know he must have been a good man, and I, I do know that uh, that one thing about making music is it'll tend to live on after you're gone. So, uh, Mike, here's to you, buddy. Hi, this is Greg Fletcher, drummer for Billy Ray Cyrus and Sly Dog. I just want to say in all the years that I knew Mike, he touched my life in many different ways. One of the best things that I can always remember that Mike used to say, he used to say, will you cry for me when I'm gone, or will you party all night long, or will you drink from a bottle of old cheap wine and think about this song? I bet you do. I bet you do. That was one of my favorites. Mike will be missed. There'll never be another one like him. It's like I said before, Jersey had Springsteen and the Tri-State had Mike Murphy. Thank you. You'll be missed, Mike. And, uh, well, I'll tell you what, uh, this has been a uh, pretty special moment inside this dressing room back here. And uh, where, what, What's the name of this town, gentlemen? Clarkston, Michigan, at Pine Knob uh, Amphitheater uh, outside of Detroit, and uh, this has been a special uh, evening here. Uh, we just got done doing sound check, and uh, we called sound check rehearsal today because we was in there working on some new songs for a new album, and uh, I don't know, sitting around this room, and uh, it's been like, I don't know, uh, this has just been a real special moment for me and the dogs to be here, and all of us paying our respects and tributes to uh, Mike Murphy. And uh I tell you what, I didn't know whether uh, to laugh or cry when Corky told his story over there because that's a very true story. And uh, I was with a little drummer, a uh, guy that had him a little rock band back in Flatwoods. His name was Robbie Tooley. And uh, Robbie Tooley being a drummer, man, we went over by this cat's name, Steve French's house. It was over by Bailey's Golden Dip. And there sat that bus, said Zachariah. And uh, Robbie and me, man, just sitting there freaking out, saying, man, that's Zachariah's bus. Man, that's Zachariah, Appalachian lady, man, all right. And before we knew it, we was up on that bus. And uh I remember when we left there, Robbie Tooley said he was going to have him a bus like that one day. I thought I was going to be Johnny Bench. It's crazy. But uh needless to say, the, the presence of Mike Murphy will live on through us and through his music and uh i'll tell you someday i'd like to come back to the tri-state and uh, cut a live album and uh maybe make it a tribute to mike and uh, play never ever thought i'd fall in love with you maybe cut it right there at the paramount and uh you know through the music mike murphy will live on through the hearts and the minds and the souls of the people of the tri-state forever and with that i need only say amen and uh, god be with his family and all the people who love him mike murphy rock on some gave up.